<laughs> hey. Hey. What you reading? Fairy tales. No, I was thinking. Follow from Hunchback of Notre Dame. He was one of the worst Disney villains, wasn't he? Mm. Supposedly. But then again, we do have Mother Gothel from Tangled. She was pretty conniving. I guess, but Frollo kept Quasimodo locked up in a tower for years and told him he was ugly and there was like nothing there but rags to make a room. Yeah, but Mother Gothel actually kidnapped Rapunzel just to use her magical hair and she was barely a good mother to her. Yeah, but at least she gave her everything she wanted, right? In a manipulative and conceitful way. So I guess, out of the two, who really is the worst? I think it's time for a little detective work. <laughs> Okay, so maybe we should start with a quick breakdown of these criminals' backgrounds. Chloe, get out the criminal records. Guilty person number one. Judge Claude Frollo, old creepy guy who raised Cosimodo after murdering his mother and imprisoning his father, has a thing for women a lot younger than him. I don't believe he's high and he really isn't. Not to self. Stay away from strange old men. Guilty person number two, Mother Garfield, an aged lady whose age is seriously unknown. At least a hundred years. Steals a princess away from her parents for her magical hair that gives eternal youth. Diabolical. Ancient lady, gaslighting queen. I think it's time we head to the archives to see some footage some answers. Judge Claude Frollo longed to purge the world of vice and sin. And he saw corruption everywhere except within. Stop! See there the innocent blood you have spilt on the steps of North Red I am guiltless. She ran, I pursue. Oh, can't you understand? When your heartless mother abandoned you as a child, anyone else would have drowned you. And this is my thanks for taking you in and raising you as my son. You are deformed. I am deformed. And you are ugly. And I am ugly. And these are crimes for which the world shows little pity. Okay. So Fuller had an immense amount of reasons for him to be hated. Obviously it was pretty terrible of him to be downgrading Quasimodo, saying he's ugly and all that. How can I protect you, boy, unless you always stay Out in there here. they'll revile you as a monster. I am a monster. Out there they will hate and scorn and jeer. Only a monster. Why invite their calumny and cause? And yeah, 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 it's mainly selfish, but at the same time, he did make a good point about Quasi not going outside and using Notre Dame as his sanctuary. Although he probably didn't need to put him down as much as he did, he was still protecting him of the harsh realities of the real world. Just a bit too much, I think. Well, Frollo wasn't the perfect parent, I'm not going to say any more than that, but at least he gave Quasimodo some genuine reasons why not to go outside. Some good points for Frollo there. Killed the parents, mm. but raised him well in the process. The tables have turned, now let's take a look at... Mm, Mother Garfall. Oh, hmm. Oof, you this lady definitely has a dark side. And a very old. mysterious backstory as well. So instead of sharing the son's gift, this woman, Mother Gothel, hoarded its healing power and used it to keep herself young for hundreds of years. And all she had to do was sing a special song. Now you would think for an old woman who has literally lived three centuries, matured and everything, that she'd come to realize abducting a child just to be young forever would have its downsides. <gasps> Stole the child and just like that, gone. Wait, stop. Look at that. Rewind the tape. She literally broke apart a happy, young, blooming family just for her own personal gain. At least Quasimodo was an orphan. Well, we think he's an orphan. We don't know what happened to his dad, but either way. So far, the case is not looking very good for Mother Gothel. Let's see what she does with Rapunzel next. Look, okay, it's not exactly the worst place to be living. I mean, it's very colorful. There's lots of things she can do. I mean, she can be herself. All right, let's just fast forward over all this part. Okay, blah, blah. oh wait, 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 can you just pause a second, Chloe? Can you just like rewind a little bit to the part where Mother Gothel's speaking to Rapunzel? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I see what's happening here. So this is kind of similar to Frollo, where he was telling Quasi reasons not to go out because the world was cruel and wicked and, and all that other stuff. But the thing is, we could believe Frollo more because he's been out there in the world, Quasi can see the people from his tower, mm. but... If Mother Garfield were just going off her words, we have no proof whatsoever this is actually happening in the real world because there are no people around. Yeah, so 
in Rapunzel's eyes, everything that her mother says to her is true. She's got nothing to prove that's not. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure any book that she was reading in that tower would have been filtered out by Mother Gothel. Not good. Hi, ba 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 ba. Whoa. Okay. Are you serious? Are you mean to tell me that after 18 years, Mother Gothel never let Rapunzel out once to just like feel the grass or go play in the water? That's just so selfish. There's absolutely no reason for her to not even go outside. I mean, what are the chances of the guards showing up one day and just seeing her in the grass? Or it's not like she's going to run off. She thinks it's her mother. Not good. Oh man, Mother Gothel, it's really not looking too good for you. I mean, gaslighting, manipulation, breaking apart families for your own selfish ambitions. You're beating old man Frollo here. I think it's time to officially tally up the scoreboards. All right, now let's go back into our honorable mentions with Frollo. So, raised Quasi, but then at the same time, he burnt down all of Paris, pretty much just to find Esmeralda whom he lusted for. He also hated a lot of gypsies. He separated families, had no self-control. However, he did think he was doing this for the right reasons. Yes, so he kind of got lost in his own mind there. So even though what he did was terrible, in his eyes, he wasn't intending to be as wicked as he was. Mm. So pretty much he just lost his way. Mm. Okay, well now I think we should take a look over to Mother Gothel. So she steals Rapunzel from her family just for her golden hair and eternal youth. She framed a lot of thieves in the process and she almost killed Flynn Rider. I almost forgot about that. Hmm, so she did this all for herself, breaking apart families, disrupting a kingdom, all for her own eternal youth? That's it? There was no reason for her to kidnap Rapunzel. It's not like she had a health issue or anything, she just wanted to live forever. So the results of their characters are pretty even at the end. Frollo may have been insane, and Mother Gothel was selfish beyond all ambition. But, in regards to parenting, who in fact was the worst? Well that is... Mother Gothel. For kidnapping an innocent princess, breaking apart a healthy family, this woman is 100% evil. <coughs> case closed. Well, the case has finally been cracked. Mother Gothel's officially more worse than Frollo. Hey? Incoming, incoming, another Mother Gothel, another Mother Gothel, but all of them tables reported to be worse. Keep a look out. Another Mother Gothel? It appears the case is not yet over.